something I said earlier was, if it is to be, it is up to me. And so therefore I step back from whatever situation that I'm in and I say, who am I being in the matter? So in other words, if something's not working out the way I want it to work out, I first look at myself and say, Hey, who, what are you bringing to the party? If there's a breakdown, was it a communication that you didn't have? Was it something that you should have done or said that would have caused that to work as opposed to this breakdown that we're having right now? One thing I've discovered is a lot of people love, drama and they bring drama into their life and they actually get a big thrill out of that drama. So whenever I see that in someone else, I avoid it like the plague. Uh, for example, I'm in the rental property business. And if someone comes in with drama, let's say before they've even signed their paperwork with us, we're not interested in doing business with them because we know this is the beginning of the drama and this drama is going to keep going. So if we can anticipate early on that we're going to have perhaps future challenges with these folks, we give them their money back and say, you know, go find some, some other place. And here's the thing. We want raving fans. We just want people that love who we are and what we do because we're doing good things for them. In fact, I wrote a book called doing good while doing well. And, so when we are looking at our philosophy, our business philosophy, then it's about helping others. So be careful when you do that.